was it around this time that you were introduced to George Martin? Yes, it was. Um, tell, tell us the story about, about how um, the legendary Beatles producer, Sir George Martin, um, took you under his wing and mentored you. I mean, that must have been so exciting, uh, but also daunting to be working with, with somebody who has had such a profound effect on popular culture. Do you know, it, it was... He, he, I didn't ever thought of the daunting side of it. I, I just remember being in my old flat and saying to my boyfriend at the time that I would love to work with George Martin. I wished I could. And so I made this massive wish and then it came true because a couple of, I think it was only like a few weeks later, I had a call from an agent at the time who was trying to present a few composers to George because he was looking for somebody to take over any work that he didn't feel he could do and he always had lots of uh, arranging and producing work and composing work and was supposed to be slowing down although he never did I remember they chose my CD they went through all these different CDs and they invited me to come up and meet him um, and so you sent your CD to him so they sent this agent sent my oh, the agent sent it. Yes. Um, it was a bit of an odd situation because um, because why would an agent do that? But at the time I think that they felt that 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 was a good thing to do. Um, and he I ended was interested up, in Yes, your... well exactly, but I but I ended up leaving them to go and be managed by them, which was the right thing to do, and they you know they didn't mind that at all. Um, but I I I remember going up and seeing George and sitting with him and, and us having tea together um, with Adam, who's who looks after or George's um, and Giles, George's son, Giles Martin. And um, yeah, I just remember being, Hi. he was incredibly uh, funny, uh, George, um, had a really sharp sense of humour and got my jokes which nobody else did because he's cut i'd make a joke and then he'd give me this sidelong look and then wink at me and um i just just remember him being very very sort of um supportive and i've got some lovely letters from him which i'll cherish forever uh so yes it was a wonderful moment i didn't feel daunted because i i, I cared about what he thought so everything I did, I sent him and I cared about what he thought of it. And he'd be very brutal if he, you know, he'd say, well, have a, that's great, but have a listen to this, you know, uh, songwriter or um, just trying to think of the name of uh, one of his favorite songwriters. It would come back to me, come back to me. Um, but he'd, he'd get me to listen to that instead. And, and then I could see uh, but Baccarat, um, wh where he was coming from. Uh, and he would he would be quite irreverent about other um, well known people that he knew, but in a funny way, you know. So, I mean, did he really help you to understand how to make compelling music? What what did you learn from from George Martin? I think. What did he teach you? That's a good question. That's a good question. I think just. I think just being grown up, grow, grown up about things. I can't really des describe it, but but I think um, being professional. He's always he he is such a professional. Um, the way he spoke, the very articulate, um, and the way he presented himself, the way he put his music out there. And it has this kind of integrity uh, that um, you know. I always he has an extraordinary much, charisma. He, he had everything he was involved in had charisma, which yes. is why you know we'll never forget the Beatles. The music is exactly. as exciting today as it was. Yeah, when it came out. Well, his creativity was very inspiring, um, and you know, he was never afraid to experiment. Um, I think it's I I think when you're doing something like the Aurora Cantamas album, which was around that time when I when I met George, um, you are able to experiment a bit more 